At the Fayette County Speedway, we are officially underway with the modifieds. As they'll smash the pedal to the floorboard, they'll scream down the back straight away. It's going to be uh, Marty Linderman showing the way earlier in this one. The number one is a Brian Shaw going to tackle the outside of the racetrack. Try to go side by side here for the race lead, but give it up. Marty Lindemann, as Lindemann will hold on to lead lap number one. They're three wide there for the third position down the back straight away. Here comes Harrison on the middle of the racetrack. Kenny Wallace on the bottom. As they're side by side there for the top three, they come up with turn number four, three wide. Then number 28 on the move. Michael Bulliard will jump his way to third as he has Harrison right behind him. And Kenny Wallace on the bottom of the racetrack. It's going to be Bulliard jumping to third. Now he'll try to challenge the number MB4 of Marty. Lindemann going to hang on to second. Here comes Bulliard to the outside. They're side by side there for the top two. Down the back straight away, Harrison going to tackle the outside as well. Here comes Kenny Wallace, side by side there for the top four. Here comes Wallace on the bottom, last night's feature winner. Down the front straight away, no, excuse me, Lucas Lee, last night's feature winner, but Wallace picked up the win a couple nights ago, the Federated Auto Parts Raceway. Shot on the outside, let him into the inside, they're door to door, down the back straight away. Good battle there for third, now they're two by two by two by three. And by two and by three, good battle around the Fayette County Speedway. Down the front straight away, it's still Shaw showing the way here in one half. You have the MB4 of Marty Lindemann to the inside. They're drag racing down the back straight away for the race lead. Wade Wantel about to go lap down. He is running the bottom of the racetrack, and the MB4 knows he is right there. So Lindemann is going to have to get around your leader, Shaw, and move to the top if he wants to be safe here. Here comes Lindemann to the inside of the racetrack. Harrison to his outside. Ladies and gentlemen, Shaw going to go a little time, three and four. Harrison going to follow Lindemann, Bullinger on the bottom. Harrison on the outside as well here at 24. Down the back straight away. It still continues to be all the one as of Brian Shaw showing the way. Things are going to get good here as Mike Harrison has joined the party. He rolls around around the outside of the Fayette County Speedway side by side for a second down the front straight away. As he'll cut the number four of Marty Lindemann. Lindemann going to hold on to third. This time of a turn number four. Harrison to the outside. Lindemann to the inside. They're side by side there for a second at the line. Harrison's got it. So Harrison now going to challenge for the race lead down the back straight away. A multi-time Dirt Car Summit Racing Equipment champion going to the bottom of the racetrack, searching for the lead by Harrison on the move. Of Harrison, but Harrison gonna get racing as he'll shoot straight to the top of turn four, dive it down low, coming down the front straight away, and he'll do the same exact thing on a turn number two, and that's gonna take him to the race lead. As now, Shaw gonna slide, jump three and four, and they're side by side, Harrison at the line. Over Shaw, Shaw to the outside, Harrison holds on to the lead. Here comes Linderman to the inside of the racetrack. Down the back straight away, Shaw and Harris duking it out for the race lead. Up turn number four, Harrison sustains it this time at the line. Over Shaw, Linderman, the 77 of Bollinger, Kenny Wallace side by side with the top five. Down the back straight away, Harrison and Shaw still door to door, wheel to wheel, neck to neck, sheet middle to sheet middle. As they're side by side with the race lead, Harrison. Can I get a little home tap from Shaw to their three? Wide for the race lead. Here comes the number MB4 of Marty Lindemann. Lindemann in the inside, Shaw in the middle. Harrison to the outside. There are three wide for the race lead. Lap traffic about to come into play, and they are in Harrison's line. Atchison to the number 118. On the outside, he's going to slow down Harrison. Harrison will now slip back to third. He's going to force him to go to the center groove. So Harrison to the bottom. This time in the exit of turn number four. How about the four of Marty Lindemann in the race lead here? Now Shaw to his outside. They're side by side. Brian Shaw trying to regain the race lead. They're very even down the back. Straight away. Nose to nose. Can't even tell. This time of a turn number four. You have Lindemann on the bottom. He'll find a trample. Steven jump right to it down the front straight away. Oh, Mike Harrison flies off the racetrack. Safely but flew off the racetrack and Harrison takes it pit side. So now it's a two car battle for the race lead. Brian Shaw on the outside, then the number MB4 of Marty Lindemann to the inside is their side by side still here for the race lead. And Bollinger still running third. Good side by side battle between him and the number three E of Robbie Eilers. And Robbie Eilers and Bollinger side by side there for third. 
How about the battle for Mason Lee? They're still side by side. And someone with turn number four, not for long, is Sean gonna run away with it. Pulling them in, and then the 77 of Bollinger with the number three E of Robbie Isles. Caution is out for the number three. But there you have it. Two of them were trying to take it away from you. Other ones were lap traffic. You just sustained the race lead. Phenomenal job out there. Take us through it. As my boy told me before we rolled out, he said, whatever you do, just get up on the goddamn wheel and drive this thing, would you please? So that's all I could keep thinking was just drive it, drive it, drive it. Talk about those cautions. Obviously, you're up on front all alone. You don't know what's going on behind you, what's going through your head. I was I was trying to overthink everything. And he kept giving me signals on the back straightaway to calm me down, so it worked out. I was, I want to thank Ted and Pam Brown, Rick Snyder. If it wasn't for these guys, we wouldn't be here racing. I can guarantee you that. For what they do for the racing community period is awesome. I'd like for Rick and Ted and Pam all come down here if they would, get their picture taken with us. 